Hi guys, welcome back to the session. Today we will create a UI path project which is going to remove rows from this Excel file having the value of product code as blank. So let's get started. To implement this project, we are going to use link queries instead of going by the traditional approach of using UiPath activities. So first let me explain you what is link. So the link stands for language integrated query and it is used to query data from different data sources such as collections, generics, XML documents, etc. in C Sharp and VBNet. Now let me explain you what are the advantages of using link query in your project. So it will compact your code. That means the project will have less number of activities if you implement your project using link queries. Also, if you have huge number of records to be processed in the project, the project implemented using link queries is going to take less execution time. So let me explain you these advantages with the help of UiPath project. Now first of all, let me explain you how are you going to implement this project if you go by the traditional approach of using UiPath activities. So first of all, for that you will read the sheet 1. You will read this sheet 1 and store the result in data table DT. Then read the sheet 1 again and store the result in result data table and clear this result data table. This result data table we will use to store the results. Now add the activity for each row in data table and under this activity for each current row in data table DT we are going to add a condition that is product code in the current row not equal to blank. So if this condition is true that means if this condition is true that means we have a value of product code and we want to keep that row. So in this case we are going to use another activity that is add data row in which we are going to store the current row values in the result data table. So we will repeat this activity for each of the rows in the data table DT and once the loop is over at the end we are going to write the result data table in another sheet that is sheet 3. Let me run this project one time to show you how it works. Let me close this file. And the project execution is in progress. And the execution is over. Let me open this Excel file again to show you the results. So the result is stored in sheet 3. So all the product code and product price are available and all the rows having the blank product code has been removed. So in this way our project is working successfully. Now few things to notice over here in this project are so to implement this project we have used this much of activities that is we read the sheet and stored it in data table then we added for each row under for each row we added a condition and then we added the required uh, row in the data table and at the end we write the results in the sheet. So this much of activities are required to implement this project if we go by this traditional approach. Also if you notice the execution time in the output here you see the execution time is 1 minute and 52 seconds. So to process this much of records here I have taken around 4000 records. So to process around 4000 records this project is taking the execution time as 1.5 minutes. So if we increase the number of records here let's say that if I increase the number of records to 10,000 or 50,000 the project execution time is going to be increased. So by following this way of uh, uh, using this traditional way of using these UI path activities to implement this project, it's going to take a huge execution time and a lot of activities are required. So let's try to implement this project using link, link queries and let's go through its advantages.
so i'm going to create the similar project using link queries for that first of all we will read this sheet one from this excel and store it in data table so for that i'm going to use the read range activity first so let me add this read range activity and here let's provide the workbook path so this is my workbook file let's open this one we will read this sheet one and read this sheet one and we want to read the complete sheet so let's remove this one it is not required and let's store the result in data table let's say dt2 so this complete data from this sheet is stored in the data table dt2 now we don't need to use any for each row activity or the conditions here we can simply use the link query so for that i'm going to use the assign activity let me add it here and here we are going to use the link query so open the value and here i'm going to first use the data table dt2 which is the result from the previous activity dot as enumerable so here i'm using this enumerable function which is going to cast this data table dt2 as i enumerable so that we can loop through each of the rows of the data table dt2 then i'm going to use the where clause of the link query and under the where clause let's define the function with the object row and here i'm going to provide the expression row and the column name will be product code so let's take this column name as product code row product code not equal to so here i will use equals not equal to blank and this the result of this complete expression let's assign it to data table for that i am going to use copy to data table so this complete expression is going to provide us all the rows from the data table where the value of product code is not blank that means we will go get all of such rows so we are storing it in our data table let's click on okay and assign it to a data table variable so here i'm going to create another data table result data table 2 under the variables let's change the variable type of this variable to data table and all done we can now write the data table to a file so here i'm going to use the write range activity let's provide the workbook path let's write in sheet 2 this is blank as of now so let's provide here the value as sheet 2 and we will start writing from a1 cell and we will write the result data table let's add the option of add headers and with this by using only three activities our project is ready we do not require to use a lot of activities as we used in our previous approach that is for each row in data table and under this for each row adding all the conditions so these activities are not required if you are using if you are implementing your project using link query so our project is ready let me quickly run this project to show you how it works and we will see the execution time is going to be very less so let's close this file and let's quickly run this project and our execution is in progress and you see the execution is over and it is very quick so if i open this excel file you see here in sheet 2 we got got our result with the values of product code and price no rows are present with the blank product code so our project is working fine also if you move to output 
here you see the execution time is very less that is 4 seconds earlier when we used this traditional way it took 1.5 minutes to process 4000 records and by following this way of using link query it took only 4 seconds to execute in the execution so with this we, by using the link queries you are able to compact your code and you are able to reduce the execution time so in this way you can also implement link queries in your project and that's all for this session guys i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did give it a like and share with your friends hit the bell button to get the updates on the latest videos and if you have not yet subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel as well and i'll see you soon in the next one thank you